TRW here with AHP. Um, it's the it's a Royal uh, wing activation. Uh, it's actually Castle now here, which is the Royal left. It's a cavalry wing. Um, the um, the Spanish army, the opposing Spanish army, uh, chose not to try to uh, preempt. Then we went to Castle now, tried to change his march orders to a to a um, charge order, but rolled too high. Uh, so he will have to try again next turn. Um, so now we're going to go, so now, yeah, we're going to unit actions. Um, they cannot move adjacent to the enemy, uh, so they'll just move up several hexes up to this gap here. Um, and this is beach, this darker tan color. This is beach, but I still don't see anything in the rules for uh, beach having any game um, impact. So it is a cavalry wing, so it's all these uh, cavalry. So we have all, we have, no, oh, it's actually all C type cavalry, which to remind myself is the uh, Chavot, Ch Cheval Leger um, cavalry, and the artillery is, is part of the uh, of the command. Um, he should be able to fire offensive fire. And actually he will fire offensive fire. Um, and one, two, three, four. Uh, roll, needs to roll a five or higher. Yep, he rolls an eight. See if there are any modifiers that apply. Oh, the terrain. Um, that's why I just don't get this dunes. Plus, plus one DRM in fire melee and an attack defense. I don't know what I. I've I've run into this before. Um, in other games in this family of games, I don't know what that's. Because plus one would would be better. Why would... Wh that can't be. Alright, so maybe it's really, really vague language. Maybe I'm supposed to do a minus one. Uh, yeah, I don't even know that. All right, I'll go ahead and assess a minus one, but that's... Uh, you know, maybe I should look at MPBS and see. No, I think it's a language thing. I think it's a French to English language thing. Yeah. Anyways, um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and subtract one. I mean, they're in the dunes. They, would, yeah, just makes sense. Um, it's not on cavalry. Yeah. Okay. So it's just minus so seven, uh, which is two more than the five necessary. Now the rules do say you conduct artillery fire like you use the normal fire procedure except you look at the table to see what you need to roll equal to or greater than. So that tells me that you still do the uh, a seven mine is two more than the five needed so there's a plus two to the to the target's morale roll. All right so they, they roll a six, uh, seven, eight. The morale is seven so they are disorganized. Um, yeah, disordered. Yeah, all right. I think that's. I think I did that right. Um, and now I'm going to mark them. And we're going to mark them with offensive fire. That's the offensive fire artillery marker. All right. So now we'll move cavalry up to the gap here again. It's clear terrain. One. One uh, movement point per hex. Now there is one point to move a uh, to change facing one vertex. Other than that, I'll just move them up and then we'll just move on. So uh, the uh, royal um, left under Castle now has moved up like this into this gap, gap meaning between these dune features here. Um, now we're going to go. There is no melee. Now we go to reactivation attempt. He, we're definitely going to try to reactivate because that should give us another chance to change his orders. 
but you have to roll for reactivation. Um, it is a table. You look at the current order, so the current orders are March. It's two or less. Do you like that? It's two or less. Um, subtract the command value of the uh, commander if not adjacent to an unbroken enemy unit. So we subtract one, and we subtract one for a cavalry wing, which costs now wing here is a cavalry wing for minus two. Oh, there we go. Three minus uh, two is one, which is two or less. So they get to um, um, change their orders to charge, uh, which is what we want. And now we are going to go into some battle here. So now we're charge orders. Um, so then we go back up to A. Okay, so you do go back up to uh, an option to preempt. So then um, we should, so we attempt to reactivate itself, go again. If it succeeds, go back to A. And A is preemption. So actually this would be an example of where, oh yeah, of course they're gonna try to preempt. So the wing opposite, Costle now is here. Um, again, Gamara, he's got a march order. He's gonna try to preempt so he can bring his cavalry up here. You know the cavalry is gonna enter the dunes and they're gonna lose a status level. That's, that's really frustrating, actually. So, so scratch what I said. That doesn't make sense to risk sending I'm talking about the cavalry back here. So this is all Gamara's uh, command here, his wing. He's got infantry up here in the dunes, and he's got this cavalry back here in the clear. And so I was thinking to maybe um, preempt to bring the cavalry up, but it's impossible to bring the cavalry up without entering the dunes. And if cavalry enter the dunes, they will lose a, uh, a status level. So they'll become disordered is the, the upshot of that. So, huh. so the other thing is that the cavalry waits for the French cavalry to come through the dunes and fight them on the other side in the clear there. Um, I guess the last thing would be to possibly send the cavalry around here. Um, um, would they go out of command for a turn? All right, that's too risky. I think they would go out of command for at least a turn. And then what might happen to them? Um, because the, the, the Royal Cavalry left here is, is pretty strong, actually. All right, so, all right, scratch preemption. Uh, so we'll go back to um, the reactivation of Castle now. All right, so now we're gonna have a lot of combat here. I was looking at this, um, when these guys move one, two, move adjacent to the enemy, um, that alone looks like it, it would, uh, um, uh, ena uh, enable the unit to charge. Problem is the defender's in the dunes and it says no charge bonus. So if there's no charge bonus, I, I guess in effect that means don't bother charging. Um, yeah, I guess that's what that means. All right, so they move. Um, that's a trigger for the Spanish infantry's um, defense of fire. Um, they can fire at the cavalry. Um, so they roll a four. Whoops, that's a four. Their um, fire value is a six. They need to roll equal to, uh, they need to have a final of six or, or greater. Um, so this is the defensive infantry fire and cavalry. So that is a minus one. Wait, yeah, minus one because it's a penalty. Yeah, so 
So they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get it. Okay. So fire is not eligible now. Um, so I guess it's, uh, yeah, I guess they're gonna fire. Um, the, the Royal Cavalry there, all right, they roll a four. <laughs> um, now they have, um, they can spend two movement points, can they? Again, we have the problem of, is the, is the, is the dunes, uh, assess it as a minus one. Um, they're, they're not going to get it. They, they're too short. Um, but now, now since they fired, the defenders get another attempt. Now they get a zero. That's definitely not going to, not going to do it. Um, and then when we get after unit actions that we're doing now, which is movement and firing and rallying, then we'll get to the, the, uh, the uh, melee. Okay. So, um, so they must move at least one hex closer to the enemy. So one, two, three, four. Of course, they already have an, a friendly unit in their frontal hex. Um, so we'll, we'll go, uh, okay, we'll go one. Um, uh, oh, man. All right, so we're going to go one and two, three, which I guess disorders them right now because they're cavalry in the dunes. Um, that is the fire zone of the infantry, though. Um, three. Um, do they get a minus one? Yeah, what is the plus one? Uh, I wish I had a French Vivictus game designer to explain this language. A unit in the type of terrain uh, uh, benefits from a plus one DRM in fire melee in attack and defense. Why would he get a plus one firing from the dunes? And the target is in the dunes. Does that mean it cancels? Wow. This has been from the very beginning. This is this has been from the beginning. This has been from Newport 1600, if I remember correctly.